I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, I put out laid back luxury travel videos inspiring you to get out there and go. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for stopping back by the channel. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you the ultimate packing guide to the Amalfi Coast. Now, this also includes Naples, because you typically fly into Naples. It will also include the Bay of Naples islands of Ischia and Procida and also Capri. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk a little bit about what time of year to go. Well, this packing guide is based on going in the high season in the summer or in the late spring or early fall. It's light and bright and fresh and not many jackets. If you were going to be going in the winter, I recommend taking an umbrella and a rain jacket and a jacket and longer pants as well. It does get cool on the continent even though it is famous for its sunny days. So it will be cool and possibly rainy. Since we're going in the summer, let's go ahead and start first and foremost with bathing suits. Suits. I recommend bringing a bathing suit that is fun and stylish. The Amalfi Coast in general, if you're in the town of Amalfi or Positano, it is very, very, very stylish. You wanna be looking good everywhere you go. In addition to a stylish one-piece bathing suit, make sure that you bring a two-piece bathing suit. On the Amalfi, they do wear tops unlike some places in France, but they are not wearing very much material. So you can get away with almost any bikini in the Amalfi. So I recommend bringing two bathing suits, whether you're going for four or five days or four or five weeks, at least two. One one piece and definitely one two piece. And next with the swimming, I recommend a couple of cover-ups. You cannot go into the restaurants in the Amalfi in a bathing suit. You have to have a cover-up on. So I bought this fantastic cover-up uh, on Amazon. They had multiple colors. I just thought it was really cute and black. And by the way, I have put a in the description below a link to everything that you need to purchase for your trip to the Amalfi. I have also a free download if you want to print it so you have your own packing list at home. So in addition to a cover-up or two, I recommend bringing a couple of sarongs. For me, I can wear a sarong as a skirt as well as a wrap around a bathing suit. So I love bringing a couple of sarongs. Typically, I'll bring a solid color one, more neutral, and then a bright one that actually goes with the bathing suit I just mentioned. Also for swimming and being on the beach, you definitely need sunscreen. I recommend bringing reef proof or reef safe sunscreen I also recommend bringing a face cream. This is from Rodan and Fields, which is one of my favorites. Great sunscreen, very, very important. Also, while we're talking about being at the beach, remember that the Mediterranean water is cold and salty. Even in the middle of summer, the water is cold, so be prepared for that when you go swimming. But when you go to the beach, you're definitely gonna want a little beach bag. I buy these in Mexico when I'm there, but I, of course, I have put a cute one on my links below. I also suggest you bring a couple pair of sunglasses. It can get awfully bright, so make sure to bring some dark sunglasses as well as some cool, trendy, because being on the Amalfi Coast is super hip, trendy, and very Instagrammable. It is, I'm just sidebar, it is unbelievable how many people were in the Amalfi when I was there this year. Everybody was taking Instagram photos. 10 years ago, it was popular, but now everybody is posing and doing their thing in front of the most iconic places to see and do. So bring lots of fun clothes and take lots of pictures. I suggest bringing a hat or two. This is a visor that you can wear just like this. That's awfully cute. Or you can wear, and I actually bought this um, hat in the town of Cup on a Capri, actually, which I love this hat. Um, but I recommend bringing a couple of hats, both for the beach as well as walking around town because it is sunny and it is bright. I love this little hat. It's very cute. And make sure to watch the Positano video because I give you the link to the uh, store where I bought this in Ana Capri. The last thing that I recommend, but is not necessary, is bringing a quick dry towel. If you are not gonna go to the beach clubs, you're gonna be in the public beaches and not all hotels will let you take their towels out. So I always recommend bringing a quick dry towel. And something about the beach clubs when you're on the Amalfi, it's about 25 euros 
dollars to get a beach chair with an umbrella and then they really want you to purchase food there as well. The beaches are very small, typically rocky. Just remember that the Amalfi Coast is very, very steep cliffs, lots and lots of walking. So the public beaches are not very big and you have a ton of people in this little teeny narrow area. So just something to note, bring a quick dry towel if you're gonna spend time on the public beach, but then again, why not spend the 25 euros and be waited on all day? So let's talk about daytime wear. When you are going to the beach, you wanna wear cover-ups. You also can wear cut-off jeans and say a tank top. Um, but the thing is, is traveling with a pair of cut-offs, one, they take up a lot of room, they take up a lot of weight, and they don't dry quickly. So even though we love our cut-offs, you might wanna bring them, you might not. I do recommend bringing lots and lots of tank tops. These are just some tank tops that I'm always traveling with. They're super easy, they're lightweight. Uh, they dry very quickly in a couple of hours hanging over the door and they're fantastic and they go with just about everything. You can dress them up in the evenings with a wrap or a scarf and during the day they're super cool, especially in the middle of the summer. These are great. Tank tops are great to have. Also, something in the Amalfi Coast, people wear lots of color. I'm wearing one of my Positano shirts that I will tell you about in just a minute. And people are wearing bright colors, very sexy colors. There's a lot of sort of oho chic as well coming in with the more neutral colors and the linens. But lots of blue, lots of yellow. These I buy on Amazon, they're little squirts and I buy, I, I have like six of these. This is one I just picked out for the Amalfi because it's brightly colored. It's super fun, but I have this in many patterns. This is a great thing to go with a tank top and during the day it will dress up just a little bit if you wanna wear a little bit nicer shoe because it is a skirt instead of a pair of shorts. Speaking of shorts, bring some linen shorts. Um, this is a great pair. This is a fantastic pair that you can just throw on anytime. Remember, you can't go into a restaurant in your bathing suit, so you want to have a pair of shorts, cute shorts to be wearing. Next, uh, just some t-shirts. But if you notice that this one has a little bit of detail on it and it's a V-neck, it's a cute little t-shirt, dresses up very nicely. Again, easy to wad up and fold and also easy to wash in the sink if you need to. Because remember, if you're going for four or five days, you only need like three days worth of clothes. If you're going for three or four weeks, you still only need like four or five days worth of clothes because you can wash them. And in addition to the cute little pattern skirts I have, I also bring my Columbia skirts. These, this poor guy is all wrinkled. My Columbia skirts, they're skorts. I hike in these, I walk in these, I do everything in these. These are wonderful and I take them on every vacation. No, this isn't super colorful, but it's a great neutral to go under these crazy loud shirts that I'm wearing. Speaking of the crazy loud shirts, let's do a tour here of this one. And then I have two more. So these are called Positano shirts. I purchased all of these in Italy uh, between Sicily and the Amalfi. They're gorgeous. They have detail here. Yes, they're loud. Um, they're a little bit longer like a tunic, but they're super cute. So one, you can wear them as a cover up over a bathing suit, or you can put on like the Columbia skirt I just mentioned. You can put those on underneath. These are wonderful. I wear them all the time at home back in Texas. Uh, the one I have on here and then this one. And then I wanted to show you one that I actually bought in Positano and it actually has Positano written on. You can see right there. Can you see right there and on the sleeve? Anyway, super cute, really fun to wear. This is something you can wear in the summer to dress it up just a little bit. Something else to pack if you're going to be doing hiking because the Amalfi Coast is very popular for hiking, like if you're gonna do the Path of the Gods or some of the other hikes from town to town, bring some hiking gear. You can bring the shorts, like the Columbia shorts. I just hiked in a pair of uh, like yoga shorts. I thought they were great. And then a great wicking shirt just a short sleeve shirt. It was wonderful to have. Both of these are a must if you plan on doing any serious hiking or any walking on your trip to the Amalfi.
So let's talk about the evenings now. People dress up in Positano and Amalfi, and if you're going to Capri, they dress up in the evenings. Restaurants are nice. You typically have to make a reservation long in advance. So it is time to put on some cool shoes and dress up. I found this when I was actually in Italy. This is a long dress. It looks like a poochie. I just love this. I wore this two or three times in the evening. It really was dressy. I thought this was wonderful. I also bring sort of a LBD, little black dress. Just this is a little strappy, just fun little easy going dress that I wear. And typically what I do is I bring these wraps that go over the top of the dress. So for example, the little black dress, I can wear this and it's got a little bit of detail at the bottom and it looks really, really nice when you put it over the top of a simple black dress. So you can put this over your cutoffs and tank top or you can put this over a really nice dress and you can dress up basically anything. So I recommend a couple of these, plus they wad up really nicely and don't take up much space. The last couple of things I recommend for the evening means one scarf and of course if you already have blue bring this light blue you see this color blue all over the Amalfi Coast that lemon yellow and beautiful blue linen this is a gorgeous wrap in the evening if you want to and if it's not too hot I recommend a jacket and you know this is just a simple sort of like a blue jean jacket look uh, but it's a little bit of linen and this is great in the summer as well now that we've covered a lot of the clothes let's talk first about shoes before we move on to a set accessories and luggage and electronics. Again, I mentioned that Positano is dressy and so is Amalfi and so is Capri and all of that. So going out at night, you wanna do something nice. That being said, the entire Amalfi Coast is in the mountains and it's a lot of walking, it's a lot of steps, it's a lot of stairs and it's a lot of up and down. So these are my sort of cute summer wearing out travel shoes. They're not as dressy as I would wear back at home, but they're very sturdy and very comfortable and I can walk long distances in these shoes. And the next thing you wanna bring are some cute flats. I always bring me these with me. They're rubber on the back, which makes it very easy to walk up and down the steps and those slick uh, stone paths. I think these are great. I love these, but it is famous in the Amalfi Coast to get shoes made for you, custom shoes. So maybe you wanna leave these at home and get some made for you while you're there. Of course, for me, no matter where I go in the world, I have have to bring my Birkenstocks. I love my Birkenstocks. I wear these everywhere. I could wear these 10, 12, 15 miles a day. If I could hike in these and get away with it, I probably would. And then the final pair of shoes that I recommend is uh, something like a pair of Chacos. You're going to need water shoes while you're traveling because the Amalfi Coast, really the beaches have rocks or it's a cliff going down to the beach. So you wanna make sure that you have some kind of water shoes. Also, these are the shoes I hike the Path of the Gods with. No, they're not hiking shoes, but they do have a very strong tread on the back and these were perfect. Now let's talk about a couple of electronics that you want to carry with you when you're on the Amalfi or any travel whatsoever. I go to Europe quite a lot and I love this little gadget. It will plug in your computer as well as two USBs and it goes directly into the European um, plug. I love this thing, one of my girlfriends Sharon told me about this. I love this. I also recommend that you bring a charger or a battery. I do a lot of filming, use up my phone battery as well as my computer battery. So I have a big charger. I recommend this. The next thing that I recommend is an air tag. I now have one of these for every suitcase and every purse I am bag of travel with. You put these in your suitcase and then it works like find my iPhone or find my computer when you've lost something. And this is a GPS tracking system for your luggage. I definitely recommend this, not only on the Amalfi trip, but every time you leave town. The last thing I recommend that's an electronic is either a selfie stick or a, a tripod. I love this tripod. In fact, I film with it all the time. This was about $25. It goes to 54 inches, which is not as tall as me, but it is a wonderful, it can act as a selfie stick if you want. Hello. Or it's a full tripod. So I definitely recommend this and it, it's a wonderful, it, 
like just a wonderful thing to have. Now that we have everything to pack, well, what should we pack it in? Because the Amalfi is up and down and up and down and lots of steps and lots of walking in between, they're not always, there's not always a road right next to where you're staying. Bring as small of a suitcase as you possibly can. I do recommend bringing a carry-on that has the four rollers. Uh, I have two favorites, a Samsonite and a Travel Pro. Those are my favorites. Again, they're in the links and in the free download. Because you're gonna do some shopping on the Amalfi, bringing a, a collapsible duffel bag. This is my favorite brand. I actually have this in two different sizes. It's got pockets on the outside and check this out. It weighs almost nothing and it opens up into a big duffel bag. And what is great about this particular one is on the back, you can slide it over your carry-on. So I love this one. This is my favorite. I also recommend collapsible wise, if you're gonna be doing hiking, this is my favorite backpack to day hike with. Um, this is collapsible and small. It holds a lot, it'll hold your lunch all of your goodies, your water and everything. I just love this one as well. A backpack in general. I always travel with a backpack as my main purse slash carry and the Samsonite is my favorite. It's big enough to hold your computer. You've got two pockets. You can carry your passport. It's got everything that you need in here. It's got lots and lots of pockets and I just love it. This is my main thing that I carry with me all of the time. In the evenings though, on the Amalfi, since the Amalfi is uh, hip and trendy and kind of dressy, I recommend bringing a small purse for the evenings, just enough to put a little bit of money and your phone in there. So that's everything that you're going to need to go to the Amalfi, whether you're going for four or five days or four or five weeks. Just remember a couple of this, couple of that. Couple of suits, couple of shorts, couple of tanks, couple of dresses, mix and match while you're there. It is going to be a wonderful time and I hope you have a great, great trip. Make sure to watch my other videos on the Amalfi as well. I'm Kim, the Abundant Traveler, and I will see you on the next adventure somewhere along the Mediterranean, I am sure. Take care, everybody. Bye. Mwah. It is too big, I can tell you. I would never carry this on a trip. It's too damn big.